An ion link liquid is a special kind of electrolyte. This kind of electrolyte actually contains only uh, ions, positive and negative ions, without any solvent. And the fact that it doesn't contain any solvent uh, provides a lot of advantages. In particular, uh, the vapor pressure is pretty low, so the liquid uh, doesn't evaporate. And also you don't have uh, problems linked, for example, to the flammability of the, the liquid and so on. In our case, we worked on a special kind of uh, ionic liquid where one of the uh, ions, in, in this case the negative ion, was an iodide ion. And this iodide can be involved in electron transfer. It is a redox active uh, ion. And uh, in this case, we have discovered that uh, that uh, contrary to the normal electrolytes where actually the charge transport is, uh, is um, linked to the fact that the ions are diffusing in the liquid, in this case the conductivity is actually linked to another type of mechanism, uh, so-called bond exchange mechanism. This bond exchange mechanism involves actually the encounter of an iodide ion with a larger polyiodide ion, in this case triiodide, the formation of a new bond and the release of a bond on the other side of this polyiodide. The uh, overall effect actually corresponds to the displacement of this iodide ion on a large distance, although in the reality uh, the, uh, these two ions move only by a few angstrom. Well, small displacements of uh, charges in such an ionic liquid can actually be observed directly by using an optical technique, which is called the Terrell's Time Domain Spectroscopy. Uh, this technique was used for the first time, actually, to uh, study the dynamics of uh, a redox-active ionic liquid. Redox-active ionic liquids are used right now in uh, dye-sensitized solar cells. The, the kind of solar cells which were developed here in, in a TPFL. They are also quite important in other applications like batteries. Air metal batteries are one of the uh, largest applications of these ionic liquids. By uh, better understanding now the way charges are transported in such uh, media, we expect to be able now to develop new ionic liquids with better characteristics and better properties.